Hey guys, welcome to Kalal Reviews. This is Chris, and this is Mastermind Creations Bovis, or there are R03 in their uh, reformatted line. So, very cool figure. Uh, again, gonna run through these in order of uh, number, not release. So, and just to clarify, the number one was Hexatron. So, it starts off at two. <laughs> Uh, this is Bovis. He is a uh, third-party version of Tantrum from G1. He's very cool in his uh, bull form. You see the same sort of detailing that Talon had all over him. Um, bull butt. Got some exhaust ports on his butt or his legs. Uh, you can even see the little detailing. You can make hard because my hand's in the way. The detailing down here next to the, the legs and in behind. Just really good. Paint apps, again, aren't a lot. Uh, this is moulded uh, orange back here where this is painted on a silver part. So you've got a fair bit of paint app there. You can actually see on mine. I'll just zoom in for you. You can see there on mine where the paint has just scuffed off a little bit, but it's there nonetheless. So, uh, again, paint, plastic, plastic, plastic. Come around, paint apps. We've got the head here. Bring a bit of light down so we can see the eye. So we've got a painted eye there, which is uh, pretty cool. And his mouth will will open, except I cut my nails this morning and now, uh, there we are. So his mouth will open, but if you open it too far, you'll find he has a little head in his mouth. And you could flip that over if you wanted to have his mouth really wide open. Horns will move. Now, the head is on a uh, little hinge here. Now, I didn't even discover that until long because it was pushed in like that. All you do is pull that out a little bit. Now, it won't look up and down, but he will turn side to side and rotate. So it gives him a little bit of um, sort of motion if you want it. Articulation, the legs will uh, will go up and down, which we might uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. So they will rotate. Uh, they're on a ball joint here, ball joint at the toe. And the actual shoulder itself. He's trying to dig my way through parts here. The uh, shoulder is on a ball joint and it will extend out as well. So you can have him doing some funky stuff. Uh, that's on both sides, of course. The back leg is the same, will extend out, is on like a bit of a ball joint there as well. Uh, ball joint here, ball joint there. Nothing else for RT. Oh, you can twist his waist a little bit if you want. And something cute you can do is uh, have him sit down <laughs> if you wanted to. So that's your articulation in that mode. Uh, it does have a couple of little options you can can do in this mode. We'll just give him a bit of a, a stance. So, now... What he comes with in this mode, uh, of course, comes with his weapons. Now, you can plug these on here or here, up to you. Anywhere that's one of these little little peg holes there. So there, we'll put those aside. I'll show you those more in the uh, robot mode. Comes with two guns, same thing. Uh, they don't have pegs, but they have these little uh, slot things. They will peg into those as well. And something else he has is this big sucker. So that is what will become Feral Rex's foot and hand. So, but in this mode it is pretty much a giant cannon. And with this little black thing here, and these two holes on top, you can peg that on. Now, Mine is pretty tight. It is getting looser as I do it, but um, once you're all pegged on, he can have 
a big ass cannon. So there we are. And he holds that quite happily. Position those legs however you want. So that is his, I suppose, beast mode. And uh, let's have a look at transformation. So, again, just pop this off there. Now, uh, you can start by just pushing that head in like that. Now, it's, it's a fairly easy transformation, uh, nothing too hard, but we'll start off down at the legs here. So, I'm gonna open up these flaps here. Now, at the back here, there's these flaps as well. I'm not going to show the transformation back to this mode, we'll just go to robot mode as usual. But these hip skirts need to end up under these flaps. So, just remember that when you're going backwards, but it's very easy. So, I've got all that open, I'm going to extend the legs out. As part of the legs extending out, we'll move these knee pads, but you can just uh, straighten those out yourself. And just split the legs. Now, with the foot, this is a little bit tricky sometimes, depends on the <laughs> mood you're in. So with the foot, you're going to unpeg that. What you're going to do is rotate it around so it slots over the top of itself and then out like that. And then just close that up, rotate that around, and that just sits in there like that. And that will give you your foot. Now, with the leg on the side here, it would be tabbed up like so. So you're going to untab that, rotate the black part of the foot, and that is actually going to peg into a little peg there. So you're going to peg that up onto there. Then you rotate the whole thing around, and you can see here you've got a little slot there and a tab there, and it corresponding corresponding on the leg, and that will just clip in together. It just kind of takes a little bit of force to put it in but once it's in and then you got these flaps i just kind of put them sort of halfway so the foot doesn't look too weird and then up here just like on talon we will focus in a little bit just like on talon you got these little hips uh hips thigh skirt pieces pull them out and push them in and on these it's actually got a little uh, tab there to do that so uh second foot flip that around so it just goes over the top of that and out. Push that in. Push your foot out with the leg. Rotate the black part. Fold that in on itself and tab like so. And then this whole section will peg in. Then you've got that and push that out. And there you have... Your legs done so we'll come up a little bit now for robot mode so you can do this at either stage but you know rotate the uh, waist around and these hip skirts will will go around as well so there's your, your hips done now up top here you've got the beast mode legs so same thing we're going to rotate this black foot around I'm going to untab that from what will become the robot mode hinge. Then I'm going to untab the wrist and pull out the hand from there, like so. Then this upper shoulder armour will rotate forward, just on a little hinge. And this foot will actually peg up onto the shoulder, like so. So there we are. There's a little tab there, holds it all in place. So that's one arm done. Same on the other side, so you untab, rotate the foot, untab that, send down, rotate the shoulder arm forward, and then peg all that into the top. Pop your hand out, and there you have that. And if you want, rotate the head around, and you could have him with a bull's head. But that looks weird, so leave that upright. Leave that fist, uh, that fist, how is that a fist? That's a chin. Rotate the head around. And there you have Bovis in his robot mode. 
so we'll just uh there we are boom soon as robot mode and uh it's pretty cool big blocky legs um holds very happily into that position and uh no backpack you can straighten these horns up how you want um, from the back yeah it's not too bad going on a little bit of hollowness there but it's covered up by the flaps uh, not too bad now while we're looking at the back you can get the foot from before peg that onto here and the thing is it makes them a little back heavy so you need to pose accordingly and there we are so he will fall over <laughs> But you can put that on his back if you wish. But I don't like it on his back, so you can go over there. Alright, so quickly look at the posability while we're fiddling with him. Now the head will rotate. Uh, it won't look up and down, but you can move the little face bit there. So getting some decent focus. Uh, you can move the little face. Shoulders will rotate around. Uh, we'll go in and out of that hinge, same articulation as before, got a somewhat double jointed elbow, wrist will turn and go in and out, same with the other side, waist will rotate as so, hip skirts will move and are on ball joints, hips are on a nice little ratchet there, a little bit hindered due to that um, armour piece there but you can move that back and get it further out. So you can pop that back. Knee, again, hindered by this. But if you move that back, you'll get a 90 degree knee. And again, if you wanted to unflap this like on Talon and make his foot look all weird, you could get a double joint. Uh, feet are on these little stem things again and on a ball joint. So they will get a nice splayed foot if you wish. Very easily. And he'll hold that quite happily too. Now, as for our detailing, we'll zoom in and focus in. You can see he's got a pretty awesome head sculpt there. Lovely uh, red eye painting and the yellow face. Yellow come out all right. It looks a little washed out in some of the details, but not too bad. Uh, you've got your chest armor in paint, and you've got various uh, paint apps on here. So you've got an orange body, it's all the red is paint, black legs. Uh, again, same as before, just little highlights, but most of it is plastic colours. So just looking at that again, come around and that's his back. This is the position that the uh, this will peg onto, you can see those slots. And that's basically that so I'll just zoom out again a little bit so while he's standing here you can get your knives so what you can do with these is carefully slot them into the hand which uh, is easier said than done due to this little thing here but it will go into the hand I'm gonna make a liar of me Hard to do behind the camera. Come on, just go in there. Go in there. Making me look like an idiot, Bovis. Anyway, I guarantee you they'll go in there. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, you can peg them on his arms if you wish, just like so. So that's one there. Grab the other one here. I'll just give you a quick closer look at these. Right. So that's the knives. They're pretty cool. They're like the knuckle duster thing going for them. So they're quite sharp, so do be careful. So again, they will peg in like so. You can peg them down on the legs if you want. Now you've got little guns. Again, just a uh, little pistol. Nothing too bad, these pegs will peg in if you wish. Or you can uh, just, these ones are easy, and just push them straight into the hand. You don't have to do any of that wobbling. Uh, 
to give you an idea, if you've watched my talent review, these go in the same way as that, sort of in and twist. It's just the handle makes it hard, but I don't want to risk breaking them. So, guns in the hands. Whoop, threw that one at us. Obviously doesn't want that gun. Come on, in your hand. You're in your hand. So, sort of got to get it. Oh, there we go. You'll feel it when it goes in. Because um, it will will grab quite easily. So he'll hold his weapons quite well and um, they'll go anywhere you want. Now, another option you do have is this big sucker. Now, if you take these weapons out, like so, like so, stand him up because he's flopping all over the place. He can hold this. Now, you can slot that into both hands if you wanted. Like. So, come on. In you go. There we go. And, uh, he can hold this big ass cannon. So, that's just an option you can again it's kind of silly but gives you a little bit of cross play with that cannon now i'll just show you this while we're doing it in case i forget to do it in the combined review yeah the cannon will separate you just push this over pop the fist out that is your hand that goes for feral rex later on so that's that and then you've got your foot, and the toe moves on the foot, and this little black thing comes up for combined mode. So that's that, just sort of show you, and also while you're in combined mode, you're going to want that down. So that's that. And uh, I'll just put a short cut in here, and we'll go over my overview. Okay guys, thanks for watching. That was a video review of Masterbind Creations Bovis from the Feral Rex Combiner. Uh, very cool figure once again. Uh, I like telling a little bit more. Uh, definitely not a bad figure. I wouldn't pick this one if it was your standalone purchase, you know, if you weren't going for the combiner. But overall, a good figure. Comes to plenty. It's got the foot and the hand for combine mode. Two sets of weapons, which again will combine later and we'll show that off later. Articulation is great. Uh, build quality, once again, from MMC is brilliant. And, uh, Look, at a $100 price tag, you do have to pick and choose. But uh, if you're going for the set, you've obviously decided to grab this. If you haven't, uh, I would pick Talon or Tigress over this guy. So, anyways, guys, check out the photos. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please like and share. The uh, usual story. That's Bovis, a reviewer. I'm Chris. Bye.